They're aware of Buffalo Bill and how important he is to the story of America and the story of the American West. Interestingly enough, at the same time as a lot of schools in America have just kind of dropped telling that story. But the Europeans know it, other people in the world know it. It's as though the United States is rediscovering that. And at the same time, rediscovering the critical role that the Lakota have played in showing their culture to people in Europe. Interestingly enough, that culture is feeding back so that the Lakota now can look at their culture with a newfound pride and say, look, our culture is so important to the people in the world, the people in Europe. And I think that that is a special pride that's going to be, I hope, important to Lakota and ultimately even helping them in a small way deal with the social problems they're dealing with. Another good example is Edward Tutu, who when he dies in Dresden, and again, this is after the Buffalo Bill era, he's there with uh, the Sarasani Circus, I think it's in the 20s, and he has to be buried there. And of course, his grave outside of Dresden becomes a destination for Lakota today who are traveling maybe to see Europe in the same way, but also traveling to see Tutu's grave and take a little rock from Pine Ridge and put it there as a representation of his homeland. It's so cool because after years of people kind of not caring too much about Western art, even Indian artifacts, there is a resurgence of interest and Lakota materials and other American Indian materials are displayed right there next to galleries that have Leonardo da Vinci work, Raphael work, Titian paintings. They're right next to the Lakota materials. And this is just a wonderful sharing of cultures as far as I'm concerned. This is, um, to me, a fostering of, of what began, really, with Buffalo Bill's Wild West, a cultural interchange going both ways.